Just a warning real fast, guys. This video starts off with some graphic images. Ooh. <laughs> you're, all, you're all interested. I'm telling you guys, I got bit. I'm getting crap, Frankie, from people saying that, like, I know. I'm blaming the dog when I actually cut myself. Guys, if yeah. I cut myself, I would just say, It'd hey, be, I cut myself. It would be a lot cooler than... <laughs> I got bit my, by my pugs. own dog. Yep. Guys that aren't familiar, it's a pug. <laughs> 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 no, that's kind of deep. That's a, that, yeah. that would be a big piece of skin hanging off there. I know. I've been tacking it down it's really well. It's kind of nasty, actually. Thankfully, because of knives, I know how to heal stuff quickly. Yeah. But yeah, it, I got bit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Uh, yeah, I took the latest band-aid off. And, yeah. mm -hmm. Anyway, this video is not about that. No, it's not. So we were talking about this before the video. Mm -hmm. If there's one knife maker that is responsible for our addiction yeah. or like the addiction starter, we could pinpoint that to one guy. We could. We easily could. One person. Mr. Ken Onion. We got to meet him, which was kind of cool. We got his autograph and we got to meet him. We're going to put in the picture here. Whoosh. Yep, picture there. That was, mm -hmm. This was Blade Show 2016. Yep. He's um, right now more aligned with CRKT. CRKT. Well, what's show one of those knives, Frankie? Oh, everybody wants me to say it. Hoot nanny. Yep, this knife is awesome. Yep. What is it, like 40 bucks? It's a really good deal. Totally worth it. Yep. Yeah, fantastic design. The Hoot nanny. Hoot nanny. Yeah, but uh, he's with kind of CRKT right now, but he's done a lot of work for Kershaw. Yeah. So some of our addiction starters... Well, I want to say this was my first knife that I picked out. Which one is that? This is the Kershaw Rainbow Scallion. Rainbow Scallion. Which, I used to really like this size knife. I'm over them now. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of into bigger knives. Yeah, I am. So, I mean, this actually got me started, and I liked the color of it. It looks good with my nails, too, actually. Yeah. Um, but that one got me started. Mm -hmm. So then I had to get, like, the whole onion line. So I got the little chive. Yep. And then the leak. I carried that one for a while at the start. That was one of my favorites, the leak. I actually took the safety off of mm -hmm. it and lost it. Oh, I should have oh just well. locked it and yeah. kept it on there. But, um, and they kind of got me started on the colors, too, mm -hmm. which was yeah. kind of a nice feature because I like the teal. Yep. And then we have another scallion in the red, too. So We had a blue one, too. That was one we gave that it was away. Our, that was our very first big giveaway knife that we gave away. Um, I don't remember who won that knife, but if you're still watching, post below. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, it was just like this guy. We don't have the leak. We never got the leak. No, we have the leak. We never got the shallot. We never got the shallot. That's what it this is. This is the leak. Yeah. It's the size bigger. These are going to be in view. Okay. The, um, I didn't realize it was Ken Onion. And Frankie, I also didn't realize they were made in the USA. Yes, they are. This is what we're going to talk about today. It's actually our one and only Kershaw Blur. Mm-hmm. I particularly like this one because of the Tanto. It is really cool. It's just a neat color combo with the Tanto. I really like it. Well, getting ahead with colors, um, I'll put a link to Blade HQ. They've got a good list of them. There's a ton of color yes, options. Yes, the blur comes in so many different colors. I'm going to say them real quick here. Oh, Black, okay. olive, desert sand, navy, purple, green, tiger stripe, and camo. There's a camo one, and then there's also an all black with carbon fiber inserts. Yes, that's actually there's the most expensive. Really cool that's actually the most expensive version at like $110. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say it's a it's a powdered steel. Yeah, but the rest of them range from 50 to I don't know, probably 75. Yeah, you can get into one of these yeah. for 50 bucks. It averages probably 60 to 75 dollars. But yes, made in the USA, kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let's get into it a little bit. That blade there, yes. this one is one of the, so it's the BDZ-1 steel. Right. Guys, I'm honestly not very familiar with this steel. I, it's it's a carpenter steel. Okay, we're familiar with them. They make good stuff. Looking at the specs on this steel, it's similar, Frankie, to, I don't know, I want to say a lot of the, you know, OS 8s or 8CR-13 MOB. Okay, or, yeah. You know, maybe a, a 14C-28N, somewhere in there, right? So it's fine. It's good. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't get the world at 60 bucks made in the USA. <laughs> right. Um, but look at this blade shape, guys. Tanto awesomeness. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is that like? A uh, That's a stone wash finish on yep. there. Stone wash. Check it out. Go like you're, you're slicing something with just the Tanto on the table. That's what's so cool about Tantos, you guys, the functionality yeah. of them. Not to mention, boy, you're coming close to slicing that. Yeah. <laughs> Not to mention the, <laughs> um, well, in a self-defense situation, they're pretty nasty. Yeah, that could really dig in. <laughs> I remember when I would go. Mm. Yeah, oh, you used to do that a lot, yeah. Mm, mm. Guy's not actually stabbing people, no, just not. making a motion. Yes. Yeah. One thing that I really like about this, too, is, okay, the two-tone, which is cool. Let's get a close-up of that. Guys, that is, well, what's it called? It's called Track Tech. It's, it's like this proprietary thing, Track Tech. Just call it skateboard tape. It really is. It, yeah. it is very, very grippy. Run your, oh, you don't want to run your nail on that. 
Yeah, guys, super that's grippy. Tons of grip, and it's inlaid in there. It's not an outer layer. Mm -mm. It's inlaid. You can see that. And they both that. sides have it. Yep. Well, as long as you're on there. Tip up, right or left? Okay. Uh huh. It's a anybody's kind of knife, right? Tip up or tip down. You can re reverse it. Oh, sorry, tip down as well. That's why. Yeah. Yep. And actually, we did. I think it came. I want to say it came tip up. Spring assisted. Okay. Uh huh. Thumb. Uh, thumb studs only. I'm going to say, now check this out. Check out the angle on those thumb studs. You, it's made so you just literally push straight up. Yeah, and it makes awesome. it so fast. Flip that some for us. Yeah, okay. It's spring assisted combined with the des the design of the thumb studs make it flip extremely it's well. It's so, Flies so fast. Flies out of there like an auto. Yeah. Isn't it? It's probably, I want to say, Frankie, this is probably my favorite push or um, thumb stud opener. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's the Kershaw Blur. It really is. Yeah. Just that little ramp on there, like you said, just gets your thumb right in there. Well, just take a look at what she's angle. doing. You're pushing straight up on it. Well, and just the angle, you put your thumb just right there, fits mm -hmm. perfectly, and you barely need to touch it. It's got a ton of grip on those uh, thumb studs, too. Yeah. Yeah, as we've come to expect with Can Onion, just very cool, well thought out designs. Well, and for this size, it's actually pretty light because what? it is aluminum. Yes, um, that is as probably a 6061 heat treated yeah. aluminum, right? Anodized, of course. Let's see how much it actually set. Our little scale well, says it weighs. Uh, right. Oh, okay. Under four ounces. Yeah. Excellent. That's exactly what it says that it's supposed to be as 3.9. I know that it carries very well, but what's the handle width on that? Okay, let's get here. Yeah. Guys, that's a spec that we always follow. Yeah. Regular viewers know that. Where are we at there? So 0.47, so half under, inch, half inch half being average. average, slightly on the thinner side, uh -huh. but pretty average. Yeah. Well, and then I saw also about this exact green one, which is kind of weird because I looked online looking at prices and stuff like that. Um, it says that this is a limited run, but then I see them still available out there, so I'm kind of confused by it. So I, I am said too. there's only a thousand of them, so I don't know. Guys, if you know what that's about, let us know, because I'm looking at Blade HQ and it doesn't say anything about Maybe uh, they have like two in stock or something. Who knows? You know? I, I don't, don't know. know. Yeah, they're still in stock, though, as far as we know. This is probably our favorite out of the Blur line. We bought this one in person from, uh, well, no, it's from it was from John at Shadow Tech Knives. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stay tuned for more from Shadow Tech Knives, hopefully. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's a big Kershaw dealer, though. Um, that comes to some of our local gun shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite spring-assisted knives, flow-through design you can see there. I would compare it, Frankie, to the Kershaw Knockout. Yeah, it Why is. Why don't you grab that? Um, I can't because I gave it away. Oh, she gave it away, guys. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and she made me sharpen it first. Yes, I did. I spent but here we can compare it to the, um, the Link. <laughs> It's not anything, but it's, it's really still, they're both made in America. This so. one's 40 bucks, lesser, and even lesser carbon content steel. Uh -huh. um, very good, though. Love the Kershaw Link. I, I really want one on the aluminum handle. I know. I saw that one. They have them, um, like the, do you mean the gray one? Um, I think there's gray. There might be black as well. Yeah, it would just be cool. It'd just be a little bit lighter, probably. Yeah, made in America Kershaw's at a low price. These are some of the best you get. I mean, go up in price, of course, you know, look through the blur line. There's tons of them. Oh, yeah, like the Felix stripe one. Oh, there is a Felix stripe one, uh -huh. yeah. Um, now, one of the things we should talk about real quick is recurves. Most of the blurs have a traditional, the traditional blade of a blur, blur, <laughs> traditional blur. blade of a blur, <laughs> Yeah, is a recurve, right? Now, it's a slight recurve. I just want to show this example for those that don't know. So, out there when you're, uh, when you hear about recurves and you see people say, oh, I don't like them because they're hard to sharpen, we want to show you why that is real quick. Some of you already know this, but. I'll see that curve. Yeah, it, this is why, this is why recurves are undesirable for sharpening. So you because put a flat stone against it, and you can move the stone around, mm -hmm. but it's going to be... It's like, just going to be... It's, you're not going to get it exactly up on there. It's it's hard to get a consistent amount of sharpening on recurves yeah. with standard like flat stones. We do have a solution for it from KME. There's you know the curved diamond rod. Yes, that's nice. It still gives you less options, though. So that's why recurves with us, too, are not, be a little bit of a pain. not necessarily as popular. But this guy would be super easy to sharpen. Very simple. Basically, just two blades. Yep. Yep. Yeah, love this design. Um, in the Kershaw line, made in America. Frankie, oh yeah, you. Can I got compare. this one out. I forget. Is that the? Is that the six? I always forget. It doesn't even say on it. It doesn't. I think it's the six, guys. I if I'm know. wrong, let I always, us know. I always forget which ones are which. Pretty sure that's the six because I think the five is the Emerson. Yeah, but, yeah, but this to is, a um, point, like it's kind of a in between. <laughs> yeah. These two. 
is what you can get for a blur. Some of the highest value in American made knives, mm -hmm. right here on the table. Yeah. Um, the length at 40, this particular blur at 60. 60. And then I mm -hmm. want to say 100 on the on the launch series. The whole launch series, I think, goes from 80 to 100 in there, somewhere in mm -hmm. there. And actually, on this one, you're getting a powdered steel. Well, and then just awesome colors, too. Because that's one thing that Kershaw really has going for them. Grab our launch, too. I think it's, the, it's not. Colors. It's, it's, I think it's over on the wall. Frankie's going away. I'm going away. Frankie, uh, so Frankie's the, knives, the, the knives, they're sharp, and they you can hold them. Um, oh, you're back. Good. Yeah, so there is the Launch 2, I want to say. Yeah. That's a very smooth handle. Mm -hmm. That's going to be similar to the handle that we're talking about and the link that they make. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah. But right here, guys, 40 to around $100 American-made knives. Good stuff. Powdered yeah, steel. Sure. Powdered steel. I think you can get an S30V version you in this, can. too. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, I think that's everything on the blur. Yes. I'm surprised we don't own more. I know, I am too. As now that I've seen so options. many colors of them, yeah. I think we need to get the um, Felix Tiger Stripe one. Well, we also need that Zero Tolerance uh, 350. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they make that one in a Tiger Stripe. Yep, and Felix Stripe. Felix Stripe. Yeah. <laughs> this one is an awesome opener. Yeah. that I just love the grip of the handle. There's the liner lock, you guys. And the green. Oh, you know what? Sorry, England. I bet this is illegal in England. Oh, sensitive subject. Sorry. That whole zombie green zombie thing. Zombie green. Love that clip. Fairly deep carry on that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think that's everything on the Kershaw Blur. Yep. Get one if you guys have a, if, if you haven't taken a look at them. Check them out. Yeah, I'll post a link to the, the I think it's the Blade HQ. they got a good selection of them right now. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. Or let us know if you have, on, have one and, and what you think of them. Yeah. Alright, thanks a lot for joining us, guys.